Hello everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. It is currently Tuesday, March 12th and I am here to show more of my cross stitch progress. So to start with, I will show what I worked on over the weekend. So my kids had a three day weekend, so I have projects to show from Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then also Monday. And uh, I had spun the wheel last week and two of the projects were the same. So Autumn Harmony got two days and then there was Tonight We Ride and what was the other one? Tarot Town, which was my whip goat number for the month. So to start with, where did it go? It's right here. Uh, to start with, I will show Tonight We Ride by Autumn Lane Stitchery. This was the one that I ended up working on yesterday, which was Monday, and I did 400 stitches and then I was like, oh, that's, that's good enough. So this was the project where last week I had been kind of like blah about just because I think I was getting tired of stitching black. So I pulled it out and I stitched, I stitched a little bit of the other colors just to give myself a break. And so here is where it is now. I worked, like I said, I just worked a little bit on each of the other colors that are left. There are three other colors. There is this color here. So I did a couple strands of this color. Then I filled in the windows in the house with some of this yellow. And then I also did a little bit down in the right here. And this is like the color that's also going to be in the fence. So I did a little bit of the fence. It's kind of hard to see because the color kind of blends in with my fabric, which is to, this is Halloween from Witch's Garden Crafts, but it's fine because all of the fence is going to be surrounded by black. So even if it blends into the fabric now, there will be black going around it later. So it won't be a big deal. So that is where I am. And I'll also show the full thing because it's not in a hoop or anything. I love the way that this is turning out though. So I mean, even though I'm getting tired of the black, I am very happy with the way it looks. And I cannot wait to have it finished this year eventually. So I worked on that yesterday and then we will just go backwards. So then on Sunday I worked on Tarot Town 2 which is artwork by Chiro Marchetti and it's charted by Heaven and Earth Designs and I think I did 500 stitches. This project is one of my Whipco projects. Uh, my Whipco board uh, has any project that's not a focus piece for the year is on my whip go board and I want to do a thousand stitches when it gets called and I did 500 stitches on it on Sunday so I still need to stitch on it again this month to get the other 500 stitches. This is being stitched on a 28 count 2 over 1 tenth stitch and I was working this area up here I need to start trying to like work my way to the edges because if I do decide not to stitch the background I need to kind of figure out where the border and edges are going to be and where I'm going to cut things off. So that's kind of I just started working up so I can start figuring out where I want to be crop, possibly cropping things off on this chart. So there it is. And then the other piece that I will show is Autumn Harmony got two days and I did I think almost 900 stitches on Autumn Harmony which is artwork by Maxine Gad and it's also from her website which I think it's Maxine Gad Creations. I'm not sure but I'll leave it in the description box. So here is all of the 814. So I, I am stitching this chart extreme cross country by color currently and I actually finished another skein of this color. So and I was keeping track so what I did is I wrote down how many stitches I had left of this color when I started the skein and I had 5,400 stitches left and then when the skein finished I still had 3,600 stitches left which means I was able to do 1,750 stitches with one skein and so now I can kind of calculate how much floss I'm going to need for the other colors and even for the red I think I'm going to need two full skeins of this 814 plus a partial, like a very small amount of another one because I still have to do 3,600 stitches. So now I know how much I need. I did buy six skeins when I ordered it though from 123 Stitch, so I technically have plenty of that color. But now it means that when I'm about to pick my next color, I can uh, decide what color I want to do next. And then I know if I need to buy more floss or not based off of this number that I have now. So that's good. And this is being stitched on an 18 count 2 over 1 full cross, which means I do get like less stitches per skein than if I was doing this on a 28 count or something. 
28 count, you can get so many stitches in with just one strand of floss. Whereas when I'm stitching on this, one strand of floss gets me like 30 or 40 stitches, which isn't that much. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, that is Autumn Harmony. I am loving her. I do need to move the hoop though the next time I work on her because I'm getting to the bottom. I also need to do more gritting. So I'm going to take it off, finish gritting this bottom corner because all of the stitches that are left are down in this bottom corner that hasn't been touched. And then there's one more piece that I worked on for cross stitch. That is the board game Stitch Along from Taylor and Cromwell. And I am so close to being done with the uh, cross stitch part of it. So here's where it is. I have finished almost everything except you can, you can see. There's like that right there. So these are gonna be little dice. I need to do back stitching. There's going to be a ton of back stitching around the letters and on the dice. But yeah, I'm so close. There's like so there's a few colors left and they have like one or two stitches. But so it just it makes it take longer because I have to keep getting out different colors to do this. So like the eye here technically uses four colors. There are two different shades of like this purpley color and then there's two different shades of I think it's like a blue or a green. So yeah, there's just a ton of different colors that need to go in these small sections that are left, but I'm almost done. So there is that. The fabric is from Witch's Garden Crafts. It is the board game fabric that was called for for the stitch along and yeah so I still would like to get that finished and then I can start on the pandemic um, tile that came out last week so that was all that I have for cross stitch I will spin my wheel first before I show my knitting blanket that I'm working on so today what will I be working on let's see and sound needs to be turned off because I do not want that. Okay, there we go. I got to the hoo rat again. So uh, that means that if I'm working on it today, I will be able to finish, meet the goal hopefully, because I think I only have to do another four or 500 stitches. So tonight I'm just going to like really focus on it to try and get that four or 500 stitches done. And then it will be done and then I can take it off of the wheel because I don't know how it keeps getting spun. That's pretty crazy. Uh, so that's what I'll be working on tonight is Tonight We Ride. Uh, blanket. I will show that real quick. I had picked four different yarns to work on for my blanket. And then I realized that one of them I had already used in the blanket. So I did not use it. So I did three new squares. I did this purple one. And this is a mitered square slash memory blanket. And then I did this purple one. And then I did this one, which this one was fun. Variegated yarns, I love variegated yarns because you just, you don't know what they're gonna look like when you start stitching them up. So I did those three squares on that. And then I kind of cheated when it came to doing granny squares because I'm also doing a crochet granny square blanket. And so I did the variegated one here, that was fun. And then yesterday I realized that I hadn't done the granny squares, like all of them. And so I was just like, oh, I'm gonna have to make another few granny squares. And then I cheated. And I just put the colors that I hadn't made into squares yet into one square. So I used the dark purple and then the other purple. So I just made one square, but yeah. So I still need to weave in the ends. So I don't think I'm actually going to pick a yarn for today because I still need to weave in the ends on these plus on the blanket. So I think I'm going to spend today weaving in ends because I don't want to save that until the end. So that is what I'll be working on today is tonight we ride and doing the blanket. One other thing I was going to mention before I end this little video clip is that I had mentioned before about talking about where the retired artists from Hate are going and Selena Fennick, I had mentioned in my last video that she is with Thread Geeks but Pain Free Crafts announced that they will also be charting her artwork and so now there will be two different places to get her artwork which is great because I think she had like hundreds of things with Haid so it's great to have two companies now that will be like kind of getting her artwork out quicker for people to cross stitch so that is all though that I have and I'll be back tomorrow with an update and hopefully I will have Tonight We Ride finished for this month and it will be the first thing that I will be able to check off because so far this month I have not met a single goal, which is kind of almost stressing me out because the month is almost halfway over and I still have a lot to do. So 
I will see you all in my next little video, which will be now. It is now Wednesday, March 13th, and I am back with a very, very exciting update. And the update is that last night when I was stitching on Tonight We Ride, I got enough stitches that the goal for this chart is met for this month. And so now Tonight We Ride can be put away for this month officially. So here is where I was working on it yesterday. I did some of this rusty color over on the side of the house over here. And then I also did more black down on the this area here, which is like the front yard that has some flood the fence. And I am almost at the bottom of the chart now. I think there's still two more rows and then I will be at the bottom. So I have now found the bottom of the chart and then obviously I have done the top part of the chart uh, when I started it last year. So I'm really excited with the progress that I made. I think I did like 460 stitches to meet, get my goal met. My goal for this chart is to do, I think it's 1,460 stitches a month or something like that. And yeah, so now it's met. I can take it off the wheel and here's the full thing. Like I said, I do love it. It's just the amount of black. And it's not necessarily that, that like this chart does have a lot of black, but I think the issue is more that I have multiple charts that have a lot of black. So the witchy stitcher chart, I was doing all the black first, the Hade cell, and then there's like just other things. So like, I don't have it pulled yet, but there is the chart Dear Alice from Artisy where I am stitching extreme cross country by color, starting with the black. And yeah, sometimes it's just a lot when so many charts use 310. So now I need to spin the wheel, but before I spin the wheel, I can take Tonight We Ride off of the chart. So I use the app called Spin the Wheel, and there's this little thing you can click at the top here, this little pie thing, and then you can take charts off of the wheel, and it's not permanent because then you can go back at the end of the month, and then you select the pie, and then you can like unselect it. So if I select Tonight We Ride, it will take it off the wheel for right now so I can do that hold on I accidentally hit a different button there we go so now tonight we ride is off the wheel I can spin to get my chart for today and we have autumn harmony again which isn't bad because I still have to do a lot of stitches on her to meet the goal uh, she is right over here I need to move the hoop so tonight my focus will be on moving the hoop, gritting some more of the fabric down this way, and um, then just stitching more through of the 814. So that's what I will be working on tonight for Autumn Harmony. And then in terms of purchases, I am this close, this, this close to purchasing a new chart. And the chart is from Pain Free Crafts. So they have Rose Khan signed with them now and they released a chart called Cozy Winter Book Nook, and it is gorgeous. So it's got books, and it's just, it's, it's amazing. So it's got purpley colors. I love purples. I love blues. It's got, like, all the tones that I really like. And then the window in the room has a little, like, winter outside. So there's, like, a tree with snow, and you can see, I think, like, the outside of a house with snow, and it's, it's gorgeous. <laughs> and so, yeah, I'm really tempted. The only thing holding me back is the size. It is 800 by 640. So it's it's a pretty big stitch count, but I get it because it has a lot of details. Like there's over the fireplace, I'm looking at it on my laptop right now. Over the fireplace, there is a picture over the fireplace and you can actually kind of see that there's like, a, it looks like a dragon and stuff in it. So yeah, it's gorgeous. It's just huge. But yeah, I'm, I'm really tempted to get it because I love those colors. And I've been really wanting a chart that has books in it because I've been trying to read more and stuff. So yeah, it's just something that I've been wanting. So there is that. I was also going to show my Notion app real quick. So in Notion, I make a task list for every month with my goals. And now that I met the goal on Tonight We Ride, I was going to check it off on here. So here is my Notion's task list. And tonight we ride, we can check it off if I can actually make sure that yeah, there we go. And then it crosses it off for you, which is just, I love getting things crossed off of a list. I haven't met any other goals yet on my list for the month. So I need to just get stitching uh, a lot faster because the month is just halfway over almost. So that is all that I have though for today. No, it's not. I'm going to pick a yard real quick. I'll do this very quick. 
So I need to pick a yarn to work on for my granny squares slash mitered blanket. And I picked this one. This is another So Livy Dies yarn from the mini set that was Eurovision based off of the Eurovision movie with Will Ferrell. And okay, I just remembered. Tonight is the Love is Blind season six reunion and I am really excited. I mentioned this is the first season that I've ever watched and I, I think I'm going to go back and watch the other seasons. But yeah, this season was like everyone first of all everyone was a liar you find that out very quickly like there was people on the show that i liked i liked trevor at first and then you find out later that he had a girlfriend or a fiance i don't even know and so yeah everyone is just who are these people who who is checking these people out to put them on the show but yeah i'm excited for the reunion though to see like who is together because there's like a lot of rumors on social media about like oh these these two are spotted together and stuff so yeah i'm excited to see that uh, i think that's all that i have for this update though so i will go and get to work possibly buy a chart you know the usual stuff i will see you all in my next update it is now thursday march 14th which means it's almost the weekend which is always exciting and i will be showing you what i got done yesterday so Yesterday I was working on Autumn Harmony. I think I did 700-ish stitches. And so I was doing all in the color 814 and now there is only like 2,900 stitches left of 814 in this chart. So I'm excited about that. And here is the progress. So I did all the 814 on this little small section here. And then I also brought the 814 down over here and it, over in this area. And then I also did more gridding. So I'm getting really close to the bottom. I am, the bottom of the chart is down here with this grid line. And so I'm getting close. It's not that far away now. I feel like the end is in sight for the 814. I should be almost done with this color at the end of the month. I might still have like four or 500 stitches left at the end of the month after I meet my goal. I need to calculate it again. But then that means this color will be finished for sure next month and then I will be able to pick another color. And I'm not sure yet if I want to pick the next biggest color which is DMC 154 or if I want to stitch a bunch of the smaller colors. So like look at on Pattern Keeper you can sort the floss by the m most stitches to least stitches. So I could look at the ones that have the least amount of stitches left and then pick some of those and try and knock out some colors. I'm not sure which way I want to uh, tackle this yet, but so there was Autumn Harmony. And now I will spin the wheel to pick my project to work on for today. So here's the app. And we got Whipco number 10, which is the chart Witcher. This is a chart from Thread Geeks. I'm going to try and find it. I have my bin of projects right here. So, all right, so here is where I'm at with Witcher. This is another chart that I'm stitching extreme cross country by color right now. And I did all the black the first year I started it, I think. And so the black is done, so at least I don't have to think about that. And then I worked on it last year during Flossmas and I started working on this lighter gray. I think I actually have two colors finished in this part though. So I have black finished, but I also have a darker gray finish. So I have two colors finished on this chart. And then I'm stitching one of the lighter grays that's the background because I figured I needed to start stitching background so I don't leave that until the end. But I love this chart. And um, the artwork from this artist, I cannot pronounce their name, so I'll put it on the screen. It's Ina something. Uh, is on Thread Geeks, which is where this chart is from, but then Charting Creations also charts this artwork. And so I have the piece Yennefer charted from Charting Creations, and then this one is Thread Geeks. So they both have her artwork, so there's a couple places to find it. And they have slightly different things, I think. So, and then this one too is the, I think, large version, but it's still not that big. So this is a 25 count piece of fabric, and it's not gonna be huge. So I'm doing this two over one on 25 count. And the reason I picked 25 count for this was that if I do this one on 25 count Witcher, 
then it will be almost the same finish size as Yennefer on 28 count because she has a bigger stitch count so I have to do her on 28 and then he's a little bit smaller so I'm doing him on 25 and then they'll be almost the same so I wanted them to be the same size because they're from you know the same show book video game series and then I will quickly show my blankets so I am doing granny squares and my yarn I picked yesterday was this green and yellow variegated, which is very springy, which is perfect for the weather. We are actually getting really nice weather right now. It's sunny this weekend. It's supposed to get to be 70 one day, which is just crazy. But then like a week later, it's going to be 50 again. So uh, I'm going to enjoy it while I can. And then I worked on my knit blanket, which is a mitered square slash memory blanket. And I got my square in on that yesterday. And so now I need to pick another yarn for today to work on when I'm getting my kids from school. And we have this is just a like cream beigey color. And this was from Pearl Scout Yarns. I got this to do I think the Sailor Venus sweater and then I never did it. And I don't know if I'm going to do it with the yarn from the kit. So I've just been using it for other things. So yeah, now I'm going to use it in the blanket. And that is what I will be doing for my progress, like what I'm going to work on. But I had a purchase yesterday, which is should be shocking to no one. I ended up buying the chart that I showed yesterday, which was Cozy Winter Book Nook by Rose Khan, charted by Pain Free Crafts, because I just love the colors. Like, okay, Whenever I see charts that I like, I usually will screenshot them and then I put them into a folder in my phone that's just called want because it's just all the things that I want for cross stitch. And then I will usually go back and kind of like look at the things, look at the charts, see like how I'm feeling about them. And then I kind of break them apart to see at this point, I kind of know what I like to stitch and what I don't like to stitch. So I will usually like think it over and be like, is, does this chart have too much background that I wouldn't want to stitch because I don't really like stitching background? Does the chart have like just little sections that I'm realizing I wouldn't like to stitch or don't like something about it? And so I kind of like will dissect pieces over a period of time to see, do I really love it? I saw this chart, I was looking at it and there's nothing that I don't like about it. So yes, it's huge, it's half a million stitches, but it's half a million stitches of everything that I like. Like I like all the colors, I like all the things, and the more I looked at it, you can like zoom in and you can see that there's like little mice and stuff running around the room, which I thought was really cute. And so it's like there's a lot, there's a lot of little details that I was liking and I wasn't really seeing anything I didn't like. And so I was like, I'm just purchasing it. It's, it's gotta be mine, it's got to be mine. Um, it also doesn't use a ton of black because it's a half a million stitches, but only 16,000 of those stitches are black. So like, that's not that bad, right? I mean, for a chart of that size, it could be worse. Uh, I don't know when I'm going to start it yet though. I was kind of thinking about like, what if I started it? Um, I think the first day of spring is this month. And so like the chart is a winter chart. So what if I started it on the last day of winter? But that would be this month, I think. So I don't know. I'm not sure yet what I am going to do, but I do know that I really would like to start it because like I said, I just, I love it. I love everything about it. I actually have another Rose Con chart, which is from when she was with Heaven and Earth Designs. I bought the chart probably three years ago at this point, possibly more, and it's called Dragon Race Into the Night. And the only reason I think that I have not started it is that I bought Max Color for some reason. And I don't like stitching max colors, so it's the regular size chart, but max colors. And I don't think that I could handle stitching a chart with uh, that many color changes, so I haven't started it. But I also love the artwork, and I think I just like Rose Khan's artwork because it's so bright and colorful. So, but yeah, I bought that. That is all that I have for today's update, though. So I'll be back tomorrow to update you on my progress on the Witcher chart and the blanket. And then I will also be spinning the wheel three times for Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and it hopefully enjoying some very sunny weather. It's so sunny right now. It's, it's amazing. Uh, so I will see you all then.
It is still Thursday, but I am back with another little update. Uh, I haven't done any cross stitch yet today, but I think I might be quitting one of my charts. So to go into like why I even thought about this, um, when I was recording my first little clip from today and I was talking about the rose con chart and I was talking about how I, I look a lot more at charts to see if there's sections that I don't like. And I've also mentioned before that uh, I used to be into like the whole like, ooh, really big charts, like thinking it was like fun and great. But then I realized that, you know, I don't actually have the time to stitch all of these huge charts. So I was going through my charts to, that I have started. So my current whips to see which one is my largest. And I realized that my largest whip is Sailor Moon by Tilt and Crafts. So I'll insert the picture of what that looks like. And it is 452,000 stitches. So it's huge. It's almost half a million stitches. And when you look at that chart, there is so much of it that is background. And I think I started this chart in like 2019 or 2020. And you know, things have changed. Like I said, I don't tend to buy as large of charts anymore. Most of my charts are somewhere between like the 100 to 200,000 stitches, which I know is a lot to some people, but it's a lot smaller compared to like other full coverage charts. So I do try and buy like smaller now usually. And also I mentioned that I don't love stitching background. So now I'm at a point where if there's a chart that has a ton of background, I am more likely to get a dyed fabric and stitch it on a dyed fabric and not do the background like I am thinking about doing for Tarot Town. And um, there's another chart that I have, which is the Gamer Girl chart from Medusa Dollmaker. And if I ever stitch that chart, because I already, I bought the chart. If I ever get to the point where I have time to stitch it, I would stitch it on a blue fabric and not stitch the blue background that's along the edges because I don't want to be spending time stitching hundreds of thousands of stitches of background. So this chart has a lot of background, the Sailor Moon one. And I cropped off some of the backgrounds so that it's like t closer to the top of their heads and feet. And that got rid of like 70,000 stitches, but it's still 300 and something thousand stitches. And it still has a ton of background. So I think I might actually quit this chart because I haven't done that much. I will show my uh, progress. And like I said, I started this in like 2019 or 2020, I think 2019. So in the time that I've been working on it, I haven't done that much, I don't think, you know? Like with the stitches that I have marked off, the 70,000, and then what I have stitched, I've only done, it's at 78,000, which is only 17%. So, and most of that, like I said, was me marking off stitches for background. So here is what I have done on it so far. And I just don't think that I want to keep going on it. Cause like, I think it's supposed to be mostly most of this fabric and it's just a lot of background and it's not what I would do now. Like at this point, if I was looking at this chart, I most likely would not even buy this chart today because I would see it and be like, that's a lot of background. And there's other Sailor Moon charts that are out there that are not this much background. But then also, if I had this chart and was going to stitch it, I would do it on a dyed fabric. So I wouldn't have to stitch all the background myself. So obviously it's too late to like dye this piece of fabric because I already have stitching on it. So I think I might just quit it. And then the thing is too, is I, I have other Sailor Moon charts like I've already stitched other Sailor Moon charts and then I have some charts that I haven't even stitched yet. So I have a Stitchy Rin Sailor Moon chart and it's only 26,000 stitches. So if I really want to stitch a chart with like their faces on it, I have another option that is actually reasonably sized and I could actually get it finished, you know, in my lifetime. So yeah, I think this one might be a, a quit, which it feels weird. I, I hate quitting charts that I've started because it's like you've already bought the materials and all that. And so I do hate it when I quit things, but I, I'm also trying to be more realistic that this is not something that I want to put that many stitches into. I do not want to put 100,000 stitches into a background that doesn't really have anything because like it doesn't have trees or really anything interesting in the background. It's literally just the, the colors fading, which you could buy a fabric that has, you know, a color going from light to dark and then you don't have to do all that stitching. So I think I am quitting this chart. 
I am kind of tempted to go look through to see if there's anything else because like I said, what I picked before to stitch is very different, I think, from what I would pick for myself now based off of what I know I like stitching. So I know that I don't like stitching things that are huge. I know <laughs> that I don't like stitching things with a ton of background. And so yeah, I just feel like what I would pick now is very different from what I picked then. So uh, that is all that I have though for now. If there is anything else to update you on, I will come back and do that. But otherwise, I will be going. So I'll see you in my next update. It is now Friday, March 15th. And I am here to update what I got done yesterday after I finally started stitching. I will say that I did spend time yesterday uh, cutting out stitches in the Sailor Moon chart because I can't decide. I can't decide if I want to try and actually tear out all of her or if I want to see how big the sections would be if I were to just cut the fabric and cut around her. So that's something where yesterday I was kind of trying to cut out some of her like in the leg area there's not as much so if I could at least get like up to her skirt frogged then that would give me a slightly bigger section so I was kind of trying to frog a little bit of her yesterday but yeah I need to decide if it's better to just cut the fabric it most likely is better to just cut the fabric into pieces because it's gonna take a long time to cut her out but I would also like to have this piece of fabric as just a giant piece of fabric for a big possible project so there was that. And then when I got to stitching, I was working on Witcher from Thread Geeks, and I managed to meet my whip go goal on it yesterday. So I needed to do a thousand stitches, and I did! So that was exciting. So I was working in this top corner, and instead of stitching extreme cross country by color, I just decided to start filling in the corner in the background because the background goes kind of everywhere so like if I was to do extreme cross country by color I would be doing like a little like wavy section like this and I really just wanted to start seeing the background filled in instead so yeah I was just filling in the background and got a thousand stitches which I only was able to get a thousand stitches because this is tent stitch so it does go quicker and this is a 25 count two over one tent stitch so he is already done I could take him off the wheel today and then I will be spinning the wheel three times, so I'm going to be spinning it for today, Saturday, and Sunday. So let me get the wheel ready. All right, and then I will take Witcher off. Where is that chart? There it is. So Witcher is off. I have less projects now, and I'm excited to just have two goals finally met. So the first spin we have... Autumn Harmony again, which is good because I think I'm only halfway to my goal on Autumn Harmony so far. I think I am only like, I need to do a little over 5,000 stitches and so far I think I've done like 2,400 stitches so I still have a lot to go on her so that's good that I got her. Again? <laughs> okay, so I've got her twice. I am actually going to take her off the wheel for right now so that we can get a different one other project. So I just took Autumn Harmony off real quick and we will spin it one more time to get something else that's not Autumn Harmony because I do like working on her but I would like to work on a different project. So I got Festive Frosted Pumpkin Cottage which I think I worked on it once so far this month. So I am almost at my goal on that chart. Where is it? Right here. And this is one that I was working the black, but I think I'm actually going to switch to another color this time because the black is almost done, but it's more along the bottom, so I would have to count farther away. So I think I might just pick a different color and start filling in some of like the, the house here. It needs to be filled in with some browns. There is the wreath I could fill in and do some of like the fun things finally. So I'll be working on this, and this is 28 count fabric that's called Deep Sea from Crosswind Collection. I think I'm actually going to spin the wheel one more time because like I said, I think this only needs like two or three hundred more stitches to meet the goal. So let's just do it again one more time so that I can have a variety of projects. So I will also take the festive one off because we just picked that one. Okay, let's spin one more time, get one more project, because some of these projects still have not been touched yet this month. So I would like to get going on them. And we have the Haid Sal, which I am doing Merry Mushroom Village Picnic number three. 
and it's good that it was picked because this is a tent stitch project so even if I only work on it for a short amount of time it usually ends up being a, a pretty good number of stitches because it is tent stitch so I will be working on this one I might start stitching on the fairy wing I'm not sure where the fairy wing is I think it's somewhere around here but that is like pinks and purples and I love pinks and purples so I will also be working on that this weekend and that is everything that I will be stitching on my blanket is I think down here so I will show what I did yesterday um, here's my granny square a nice little beigey one and then my mitered square on my other blanket my knit blanket and then I think I might not work on this this weekend the reason being is that I still have another knit project that I haven't finished so I might work on that um, it's behind me so I started the Nordiska sweater in like January I think or December I don't remember which one and I did the top part because it's a top down sweater I did the v-neck I added the ribbing and then it has these cables so I did all that part I split for the sleeves and then I haven't really touched it and part of it is because I think I might change the um, design so you're supposed to switch and do color work at the bottom of the sweater and I think I might not do the color work I might just keep knitting in the brown color that I'm using because I'm trying to be more realistic about what I make and what I wear and kind of merge them better because there's a lot of things where I love it I love the design but it's not something that I'm going to wear very much like I'm going to wear a brown basic sweater more than I would a color work sweater just because that's the way I am <laughs> like I wear a lot of like basic things like if you you might not have noticed but I tend to wear like a lot of just like black basic things I don't usually wear like designs as much so I think that I might just do it all in brown skip the color work and then I also think I might not do the three-quarter length sleeves I might just do like a t-shirt length sleeve where I just kind of rib it because I have a different brown raglan tee that I've made before and I wear that thing all the time and it's like a shorter sleeve because I tend to wear uh, shorter sleeves more often than a long sleeve like if I want a long sleeve I'm usually gonna wear like a hoodie versus a knit sweater I don't know why and so yeah, I might be changing it and that's part of why I haven't worked on it is because I wasn't really sure what to do but yeah so I think I might change that and then I also might start a knit tank top because it's been sunny and so that really makes me want to knit like summery things and not necessarily like warmer things so I think I might start a tank top because I have knit a few different tank tops before and they just they knit up really quickly because number one you don't have to worry about sleeves and then number two most of the tank tops that I've made are more of like a cropped one that you could wear with like a high skirt or you know high-waisted pants whatever so they're usually like cropped they're not that long they don't take very long so I think I might do that but we will see what I end up doing uh, in my next video so this is it for this video though I hope everyone has a good weekend and I will see you all next week bye